fun. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah! Awesome! We are going to take a look in our mystery box. But before we do that, I need your help. So, on the count of three, can everyone yell, take a look? Are you ready? One, two, three! Take a look! Great job! Let's see what we have inside. We have, oh man, first we have our Bible and we have some gear here. Let's see, this kind of looks like a knight's helmet. Hmm. Oh, look, it's a shield. And then, oh, a sword? And look, some armor. This is so cool. It's like a knight. Have you ever heard of a knight? They're kind of like soldiers. We're going to talk about somebody today that's also kind of like a soldier. Our story is a true story straight from the Bible. And it's all about a man who's called a centurion. Can you say centurion? Great job. A centurion is kind of like a soldier. But before we get started with our story, can we do something kind of fun? Everybody stand up. We're gonna march like some soldiers. Here we go. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Oh, great job, friends. At ease, soldiers, you can have a seat. Well, like I said, our story today is all about a centurion. And there's something really important about him. Because you see, he was in an army. And he was big and he was strong. Let me see your muscles, everybody. Really big muscles. And you know what? He was in charge of a bunch of soldiers. Can you put your hands on your hips like you're in charge of a bunch, bunch of soldiers? Great job. Yeah, he was really important. But our centurion in our story thought somebody else was more important than him. Do you know who that might be? Jesus, that's who? Our centurion knew that Jesus was super important and he actually needed Jesus's help. So the centurion went to Jesus and he told him that his servant was really, really sick at home. Can you make a sad face for somebody that's really sick? He was super sick at home and he said, Jesus, I need your help. Now, remember Jesus was really busy. He had a lot of important work to do. But do you think that stopped Jesus from helping the centurion? That's right, it didn't. Jesus said, do you want me to go to your house to help your servant? He was willing to go all the way to the centurion's house to help him. Do you think the centurion said, yes, come to my house and help him? Nod your head yes or shake your head no. What do you think? No, guess what? The centurion said, you can help him without even coming to my house. He said, I know you are way too special to come to my house. And I know that you don't even have to come to my house to heal my servant. And that's exactly what Jesus did, friends. Jesus told the centurion, go home. And when you get there, your servant will be all better. 
Do you think the servant was better when the centurion got home? Yes, he was. Wow, Jesus is such a good friend. He heard that someone needed help and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and the servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Because he loves you so much. When I say, who loves you? You say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? Who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's right, friends. Jesus loves you and he wants to help you just like he helped the centurion and the servant. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Jesus, thank you for the way you helped the centurion. He knew you could heal his servant and you did because you loved him. We know you will help us too because you love us and we love you. Amen. job helping me with my story today and being soldiers. I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye friends! <laughs>